Before this video begins, I'd like to thank everyone for your recent support. I love reading all your comments and feedback and will do my best to respond back. And for my videos, I'll always be using a right click or left click indicator for the Bucky along with a damage indicator. And for your reference, HS stands for headshot, BS stands for body shot, and LS is for leg shot, and the number indicates how many pellets the enemy received. I will also be doing voiceovers for these shotgun sage plays explained, and make sure that the video is not a reading simulator by keeping the text short and concise. I'm also working on the full shotgun sage guide, and as I mentioned previously, this is going to take more time because I want to make it perfect. For this episode, I'll be going over the map ascent. This map may seem unfavorable to shotgun users due to mid being open and long range, however, I've been able to adopt a playstyle that allows me to still be effective on this map. This was also the map I got my first ace as a shotgun sage, which you can see in my clickbait video. And to start, I'll be going over my strategy for taking A-Site and the post-plant scenario. A-Site is always tricky to take. You want to have smokes at door and also towards heaven. However, if you are able to take Sight, it becomes an easy hole to shotgun sage due to this wall that I always use. With this wall right here, you can one-shot anyone with the bucky left click, and you can also easily push onto heaven and get a one-shot right click when they are at the corner. You can also use this wall to get on generator to get a right click on people entering from heaven or also people coming from door. However, when you use this wall, you will want to make sure you leave a gap, otherwise this could happen. This is another wall that I just recently found. It blocks off doorway and allows you to get on generator for a one shot right click, and it just works super well. The other alternative is taking cat control. I like taking this when I'm a little late to A site. I can always catch someone off guard or take control of guarded. And if I do get a pick at cat, we can always rotate and go towards mid to B. And to take control of garden, I always wall off cat entrance. Now, this next clip is one many of you have already probably seen, and I wanted to go a little bit more in depth and show the damage numbers. So none of them were actually hit by the Sova ultimate, and two of them had bought light armor. And so I always try to make sure I have the right distance between myself for a one shot right click. This goes to show how strong the right click can be for the buggy. With the raise, I was already at optimal distance for a one shot right click, and I decided to get a little bit closer. Once I saw the arena flash go out, I automatically shoot it out of habit. I know that my position has been compromised, and I sometimes get unlucky with my left click where it doesn't one shot people, so I decided to back up for a one shot right click. And so with Phoenix, I do 138, against Reyna I did 161, and against Sage I did 133. I usually always play b site on defense since it is easier to hold with a shotgun. However, there are times where I would play a site, and that is usually with the judge, and I would hold close to main entrance or cat entrance. You can also play on site, such as behind generator or in hell, but it isn't as fun. For the a site retake, I usually always go up heaven when I have a bucky, and go to the door when I have a judge. I also have my wall to utilize to get me into a better position. When I play from heaven, I like to wall up since that will get me into a nice range for a one shot right click and people aren't used to shooting vertically unless they come from overwatch and played against the pharah. When I push from door, I like to use my wall to get towards main and then take the fight there or use my wall to block it off and help my team fight on site. In this clip, I was able to get the kill on the omen easily and I got lucky with the cypher since I shot at him from a far range. The jet in this scenario was most likely afraid of the judge, which is why he didn't push me. However, he should have pushed the moment he heard me reload the shorty. When taking B-Sight, you always want to have smokes. You want to smoke CT and mark it, and as Sage, I always slow the CT smoke. I've had a lot of experiences where people would just run out of the smoke and kill me. Now in the post-plant scenario, there are several options as Shotgun Sage. You can play at logs and peek towards market. This will allow you to take easy fights and you can one-shot right-click people.
Another option is to wall off CT. The reason why I wall it off is because even though it had smoked, as I just mentioned, people push out of the smoke like Stewie 2k. And although the enemy can jump on the box and get on this type of wall, if you hold it with a shotgun, it's a free kill. The last option is to play on site. I like using this wall at stairs since although the enemy can jump on the wall, as I just mentioned, you can get an easy kill with a shotgun. The Bucky is also very good on B site due to the one shot right click potential. I actually should have gotten killed by the jet here when I was standing on the wall. I wasn't paying attention to mark it. And with the omen, it was just unfortunate timing that he crouched perfectly and my bullets went around his head. And in this clip, I heard the jet updraft, so I was able to get the right click on her. And I got really lucky with the arena. However, I misplayed because I forgot that pros don't fake. I also missed the first shot. In this final clip for the B site take is a another reminder to always make sure to check site. I love holding B site since I can one shot people with the Bucky and B main. With B main, you can use the Bucky or Judge depending on what you expect the enemy will do. I also like to slow it in the beginning to stop the push and get me into the one shot right click position. However, if I get flashed, I immediately run back and use my wall if I hear them pushing fast. Oh, you're better, Austin. If the enemy is pushing towards mid, I like to wall off B main and play in either logs or right next to the door. People have a tendency to see the wall and think that I already left sight and never check close right. And so actually in this clip, I'm playing towards CT because I know that people are pushing through B main and I can't take the fight there if I'm close right at the door. One thing that I also always like to do is if I have the time, I always close the door and destroy it. That way it saves time for my team if the enemy is able to take the site. And before I show the last clip, I wanted to show this one because I had the right idea. I just executed it poorly. I wasn't expecting there to be another person besides the omen. And I also missed my first shot. And if I'm playing really defensive, I like to play at default and use the boxes to my advantage. And so in this final clip, I'm kind of utilizing everything that I just mentioned. I'm closing the door and destroying it, and then I wall off uh, B main and then play close right. However, I know that this can be very risky, so I go back into B site and get the win. Sound like they're rotating. Yeah, they're putting the rotating. It's stinger. I'm gonna spray mid. Yeah, yeah, spray mid. Spray, spray B mid. B mid right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Death in. Death in. One time on you. Close, you close. Like one. How much? 95, 95. Here comes stairs. Wait, no time. What the fuck? The slow, slow pogger. The pogger slow. slow. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something new for Ascent as Shotgun Sage and enjoyed the voiceover and hope that my voice actually doesn't sound as scuffed compared to my previous videos.